Hi everyone, I thought I would take you through my empties today um, and show you what I've been using, what I've loved, what I haven't loved. So if you want to know more, stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Ziggy here from Look 10 Years Younger and my mission is to inspire mature women everywhere to look and feel even more beautiful and uh, confident than they already are. So one of the ways that I do that is try lots of different products or stay loyal to the products that I really love and I have a couple of bags of products here um, of empties. Let's take a look at them shall we? My first one has to be my number one gold standard for anti-wrinkle treatment and for me it is my Retrieve Cream. Um, this is the box, you can see uh, my tube. I have gone through every last bit of that. A tube of um, Retin-A or Tretinoin and for me lasts about six months. So. Um, this Retin-A is 0.5%. I use this every single night on my skin after I've cleansed it. It's really, really good for teaching your skin to make nice, fresh, young, healthy cells. Takes a little while um, to get used to. I have got some other videos on this product, so I'll link those for you uh, up there. Product number two in my bin, and you can see that it's empty, is the um, Lancome Bio Facile. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that, but essentially it's an eye makeup remover. This has to be my all-time favorite. This must be about my third bottle of this, I think. It's, it's not too oily. I really hate um, eye makeup removers or any makeup remover that is super, super oily. I don't know about you, but I hate that slimy kind of feeling. Um, this is a two-in-one, so you have to give it a shake before you use it and then put it on your eyes and, uh, you know, pat it off. I love that it takes all of my makeup off uh, without dragging my eyes. So this is a, a love this product. Ah, my Davro. Um, I use all Davro hair products. This is their Moisture Senses Conditioner. I use their Moisture Senses Shampoo. I use their Volume Shampoo. I use their Volume Conditioner. I use their... I use all sorts of stuff from Davro. It's an Australian brand. I will link down to their site below. In Australia, you can pick it up from Hair House Warehouse and you know Price Attack and your hairdressers probably have it as well. It is a professional product. Um, it does cost slightly more, but oh my God, Davro is so brilliant. Another favorite of mine and that is empty is um, my Benigma cream. This has well and truly been emptied out. I love Benigma um, moisturizer. It, um, it gives my skin a real uh, plumpness to it, but it also makes it feel really alive. Um, I think a jar of this, it's a New Zealand product, um, I think a jar of this is about $100 or so. There's lots and lots of discount codes around the, on YouTube as well that you can get this a little bit cheaper, but oh my God, this is the best thing since sliced bread. Um, another favorite of mine is the Ultraderm. In fact, I love everything in the Ultraderm um, brand. Uh, as a beauty therapist, uh, I use their professional products, but um, they also have some retail products as well. Um, this is one of their professional and or retail products. It's the B3 Serum. Um, this is really fantastic. It really brightens the skin and clears the skin. I love this stuff. Another favorite of mine is the um, Advanced Night Repair. This is from Estee Lauder. This is absolutely empty, unfortunately. Um, it did last a long time because you only need a few drops of this each night. Um, and I'm actually using a different night serum now anyway, but um, I really like this one um, as a retail product. Uh, it is beautifully emollient on the skin. It's really nourishing on the skin and it's got some quite nice um, ingredients in it. I do think there are other things out there which are less expensive that probably have equally as nice ingredients. Um, so I probably won't buy it again, but um, I do like it, I have to say. 
I'm going to talk about something that I don't quite like as much and I've used it all. It is the Clinique um, Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids and lips or for makeup per se. You can see that I've used it all. Um, this was just a deluxe sample bottle that I got. Why don't I like it? Um, I find that it's really slimy and I mentioned before that I don't like really slippery glycerin -y, um, type of uh, makeup removers and this is one of those. It takes the makeup off really well. It's very very gentle. I just personally find that I don't like the texture of this one particularly. Uh, a favourite was the Foreo Day Cleanser that I've been using with my Foreo. I got this um, as a free sample with my Foreo um, and you can see it's pretty much squashed up and all used. I really, really liked it actually. Um, as a day cleanser, it has a bit of a citrus smell to it and so it's very very mild though but it, it's enough just to help to wake you up a little bit in the morning um, beautiful and smooth doesn't froth up which of course you don't want really with um, a, a day cleanser especially if you're using your Foreo um, really really nice and gentle so I, I quite like that and I may or may not buy it again I'm, I'm really into my um, cosmeceuticals um, you know higher strength uh, more professional products but rather than retail products but I have to say um, this was quite nice. Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid Booster. Um, I used all of this up and I bought it quite some time ago and I've, I've got a video on hyaluronic acid and I'll, I'll link to that up there somewhere. Um, but this is not one of my favorite hyaluronic acids. I'd much rather use either the Timeless or the Skin Diva or um, a pure hyaluronic acid. This is very nice, but uh, for the price, I think there are better options out there. I got another sample that I used this month. It is the uh, new Pixi Glow Tonic Toner. Um, I quite liked it, I have to say. Um, it doesn't have a smell to it. This uh, does have 5% glycolic acid. Now, um, I'm not really a fan of putting glycolic acids, AHAs or BHAs, um, in uh, cleansers or in toners. I prefer to actually put them on as a dedicated product. Um, very nice, uh, nice and gentle on the skin. I really, really prefer a toner which is gentle and my favorites are either the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner because that's got squalene in it and it's really nice or the Paula's Choice Resist Range Toner which is really really nice and I have to say is probably still my favorite even above all the cosmeceutical toners that I've used but the Pixie one was okay. Another toner sample that I <laughs> used up this month is the Nuxe, I never quite know how to pronounce that, Nux, Nuxe, not quite sure. It's their lotion, um, it's their toning, it's a gentle toning lotion they call it. Um, again, um, I prefer to spend my money on um, moisturizers and serums and on foundations, that's where I put, that's where I don't mind spending money. Toners, hmm, you know, could take or leave them really. Um, and this one was okay. Um, nothing wrong with it at all. Just probably not one of my favorites. Now I was really lucky enough to be given both of these as samples. These are the Estee Lauder Renutrive range and one was the eye cream and one was the moisturizer. Um, I used both of them up. Uh, I'll take the jars out so you can see. They're pretty empty and I used the whole thing. They were very nice. Again, they're a retail product. They're not a cosmeceutical. Um, and they're, I think they're a little bit expensive for what they are. I think there are much better options out there. You know, um, the Benigma for me, you know, I bang on about this, but the Benigma for me is still a favourite. So even though these get um, fairly good reviews, 
Um, I probably wouldn't go and buy it again. Very nice product, but not something that I would choose to go and buy again. There's also a bunch of other stuff in my um, empties as well, but I'll give you the last one, and it's this one here. I mask probably three times a week, uh, and I tried this one, which is the CoQ10 Caviar um, face mask. It's a sheet mask, um, and um, it was very nice. It's from Skin Republic. Uh, and their stuff is pretty okay. Um, it was very nourishing. I found it very, very nourishing. Uh, it, but it was just, it was okay. I wouldn't go any further than that. I will share with you what my favourite sheet mask is, and it's this one here, which is the Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair um, sheet mask. And this is their foil mask this is really really expensive you know probably 10 times more expensive than this one so this is a luxury item and i'll use this about once a month or so on a special occasion um, so in comparison um, this blows this one out of the water but this one isn't <laughs> as expensive as my favorite one um, and i use a sheet mask as i said about three times a week it, it was okay I might buy it again. It doesn't blow my socks off, but it certainly did a good job. So that was my empties for this month. I can finally throw these bags of empty bottles and jars out. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I always love watching other people's empties videos because it really gives me more ideas about, oh, I should go and try that. Or, oh, I was thinking about trying that, but I won't now. <laughs> so that was another video from me to you. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, so until then, it's bye from me. Please subscribe and join the Look 10 Years Younger team. You'll find the subscribe button that looks like this, and you'll find it down there. And when you click on it, poof, it magically changes, and now it'll look like that. If you click on the little bell button that's in there, it'll bring up a new window. And if then if you click on the button that says, send me all notifications from this channel, Every time I upload a video, it'll be first in your subscription feed so you can stay up to date with me. I love sharing videos with you. So you can find my last video here and you can find another great video from me down there. I upload every Monday and every Thursday, so let's stay in touch. So that's been another video from me to you. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. So until then, bye from me.